<laughs> Earthquake in Johannesburg on Bree Street. Wow, guys, people are hurt. What the fuck? Look at that car. Ha 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 ha. The whole street, literally. Ha 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 ha. Look at that quantum over there. Ha 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 ha. Guys. Shit. Guys. A bomb or something just exploded here in Joburg, CBD. A bomb or something exploded. Right, into our top story this morning, the explosion under Bree Street right, in the into Johannesburg our top CBD story late this yesterday morning, the explosion has under the life Bree Street of one person. In the Johannesburg the cause CBD of the explosion which caused many bus the taxis of and other person. vehicles to overturn. The cause of the explosion which mystery. caused many bus Some taxis and other vehicles to overturn. Some smelling gas after the explosion. But Some Igoli eyewitnesses recalled smelling gas after the no explosion. Loss. But Igoli and that gas customers in the area continue to receive an uninterrupted gas supply. And that customers in the area continue to receive even uninterrupted people gas were supply. injured. And and Premier the cause Pernyazla of the explosion Sufi says 41 people were injured was addressing and the media the last night. Following a meeting with various stakeholders the was at the Joint the media Command last Center night. that has been set up at the Mary Fitzgerald Square in Newtown. Joint Command Center that has been set up at the Mary Fitzgerald Square in Newtown. Right, let's get more on the story now. And joining us is Joburg Emergency Services spokesperson, Robert Mulawati. Robert, thanks, thanks for talking to us. So this morning we are now uh, confirming, and perhaps we can get that proper confirmation from you, that one person has uh, unfortunately lost their lives after yesterday's incident. Uh, is this indeed the fact? Yes, uh, we can confirm that early hours of this morning, around uh, half past one, we recovered a male uh, body, uh, on that incident where the incident occurred uh, uh, yesterday. So this brings the number two of people who were injured on the incident to 42, which is uh, the 41 who were injured, who received serious injuries, uh, and also moderate to minor injuries. Uh, they were treated on scene, and all of them, the 41, were transported to various healthcare facilities for further medical care. Unfortunately, uh, early hours of this morning, we recovered the one body, um, which is a male person, uh, of which it was confirmed dead on scene. The body was recovered by our firefighters uh, early hours of this morning. So this brings to the total number of people who were uh, affected by this incident to uh, 42. If you can talk to us about the, the kind of injuries we're dealing with, how many people are being hospitalized at the moment? Yeah, the number of people who have been hospitalized is 41. 41, 41. okay. So okay. The, the, the patients, the 41 patients are prioritized. So two out of those 41, they received serious injuries. Okay. So we call them, they are, they are like the priority one patient. Yeah. yeah. And then um, there are these other 39, uh, they are um, injuries in ranges between uh, moderate to minor injuries. Some of them, they can even walk without any uh, issues. So those ones are uh, received uh, um, a minor injury. So the total of them, all in all, is uh, 41. Okay. So, Rob Robert, if you can give us an idea of um, what's happening in, in the CBD at the moment, because we know that there are a lot of roads that have been closed, particularly yes. Bree, and many more around that area. And people yes. are now sort of trying to commute, get to work, and there's going to be huge backlogs there. So perhaps you want to just give us an outline of where people can and cannot go. 
Yes, there are um, that vicinity around the Bree Street where the incident occurred. Uh, the area has been cordoned off so that it's minimized to that area where the incident occurred. And also the the, the people who might be want to visit that area, we discouraging them to visit that area because we might have any uh, maybe secondary uh, explosion. So we don't want to encourage people to come into that area uh, so that we can be able to continue to conduct our uh, assessments uh, to those other adjacent buildings because uh, you will uh, recall that uh, there are buildings which are just along uh, the area where the incident occurred, which are like residential areas where a number of people are staying in those buildings. So at this stage, uh, there was no one who has been evacuated at this stage. So those buildings have to be thoroughly assessed to see whether uh, the structural integrity is still intact. And then if uh, the building structural integrity of those buildings are still intact, of course those buildings, uh, people won't be evacuated. So the evacuation won't just happen haphazardly. It will be done uh, cautiously to make sure that uh, there is no you know, a uh, huge interaction in terms of day-to-day uh, business activities in that uh, area. So if we talk about the evacuation, do those that, is it purely residential buildings? I imagine there's also some businesses in there. Were they, yes. have they already been evacuated? What happened last night? Um, surely we didn't yes. see them spending the night there. And where have they been housed if they were evacuated? Yes, there, there are um, a number of people, especially uh, the, the people, the homeless, who are sexually staying in that, other, in that area. So they were housed uh, at the emergency shelter at the Colter Street. Uh, where they slept overnight. Of course, the, the people who are actually sailing around the area, uh, I think uh, uh, most of those who are actually sailing around the area where the incident occurred, for now, since the area is cordoned off, they are not going to be able to come into the hot zone yeah. uh, because that area uh, is still uh, dangerous now. Uh, you know, we need to make sure that uh, we don't have so many people movement in that area while, of course, the process of uh, investigations is underway in terms of the pipeline to see whether where exactly the leakage is coming from since we know that uh, there was a statement which was issued by a colleague to say from their side there was no interruption however we still have to continue to investigate to see exactly so that we can be able to give our residents out there you know a consolidated statement to say what might be the cause and what is it that is going to be done i think the uh, city of Johannesburg uh, will be able to issue uh, you know, set uh, uh, updates uh, throughout the day to say uh, what is the uh, 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 cause, uh, what is the uh, the cause of the. Um, uh, this explosion which we had uh, yesterday. Indeed, because we did see that statement coming out from Igoli Gas saying, as you mentioned, that their uh, service is uninterrupted and that people in the area are actually they still receiving gas supply and there hasn't been a drop and no pressure loss at all. But you as, uh, as emergency and the, the, the city is still not ruling that out. So obviously yes, the yes. cause is not known, but you haven't just due to the statement ruled it out. There are major investigations still happening. Yes, there, 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 there's about three theories here. Uh, uh, the, and if, if, if you look at the situation, it might be that uh, maybe gas leakage, it might be maybe excessive uh, methane in the area since there's a sewer system in that area. Uh, the third theory might be uh, illegal uh, mining. So those are, you know, maybe three areas which uh, one of them might be, uh, you know, the cause of the explosion. However, we up until we uh, that uh, situation is uh, uh, investigated properly, we are not in a position to say what is the cause at this stage. Okay. That uh, determination will be uh, issued as soon as uh, there is a confirmation as to. Uh, what might be uh, the cause of uh, this uh, explosion. All right, we'll leave it there. Robert, thank you. Thanks so much for your...